can't wait to show you Script Lab, a Microsoft Garage project. Script Lab is a learning and experimentation tool for anyone who wants to write JavaScript in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint to create add-ins that run everywhere Office does. PC, on your Mac, and even on your browser. It's so easy now. You don't need to set up any environment, you can skip the documentation, and you can get this thing for free from the Office Store in like 20 seconds. So if you want to, you can follow along on your machine with me. Go to aka.ms slash scriptlab. Enjoy the demo. We're going to start by installing ScriptLab if you don't already have it. So go to Insert and then Store. From there, search ScriptLab and then add it. You should see a little notification telling you that it's installed, and then you can click the ScriptLab tab. You have a bunch of options here. The most important buttons for using the tool are Code and Run, and we're going to start by clicking Code. So you're going to see a bunch of samples on this first page, and we're just going to start with the basic API call sample and work from there. So let me expand that task pane, and then let's take a look at what we have here. It looks like JavaScript code, and there's some nice syntax highlighting here. You might notice a couple unfamiliar things, like async and await. Those are TypeScript features that aren't available yet in regular vanilla JavaScript. So if you're not familiar with TypeScript and you just want to use plain old JavaScript, that's fine. You can do all of this in regular JavaScript, and we have some samples in vanilla JavaScript too. But I really recommend trying out TypeScript. Static type checking is really handy, and you get all the newest JavaScript features. So let's look at this code. It's pretty straightforward. First, we're just going to get the range that the user selected. Then we're going to color the background in yellow and load that address of the range so that we can write it to the console afterwards. So now we're going to run this thing and see what happens. In order to do that, click Run, and that's going to open a new task pane. This is really the best way to work with ScriptLab. You've got your code pane, and you've got the run pane where you can see the results. So we're going to choose Basic API Call, which is the snippet we're working on. So now I'm going to select a bunch of cells, and then we'll go over to the run pane, click Run Code, and there we have it. Colors the background in yellow and writes out the address to the console. So that's right here. You can see A2 to C3 is the specified range. So now we're going to actually try changing something. First, we're going to start off simple. Just change the fill from yellow to one of my all-time favorite colors, pound 00FFCC. So now the run pane is telling us it's ready to refresh with the new change. We're going to go ahead and select a new range of cells, click refresh, and then run the code. And we should see the new beautiful color in that range. Okay, so now it's time to try something a little more complicated. Uh, we're going to start by entering some sample data that we can work with. Nothing better than A, B, C, D, E, F for that. And now we're going to go modify our code. So first change, instead of getting the selected range, we're going to specify a exact range that we want to get the values from. So from the workbook object, we're going to get the collection of worksheets. And from those, we're going to look for the active worksheet that the user is working on right now. Then once we've specified a worksheet, we're going to request a specific range from that sheet. You can see the IntelliSense is making things way easier for me. I can see immediately that get range is the method that I need here. So I'll choose get range, and then I'm going to specify a specific subset of that sample data. I'll go from uh, C7 to D8. So the next step here is to make sure we get the actual values from that range that we've specified. We were previously loading the address, so we're going to change that to load the specific values in that range. So now I'm just going to change the log statement so that it explains what's actually being written out to the console. And we're going to replace that uh, range.address with the uh, value property. The last thing I'm going to do here is to make a change to the values in the spreadsheet for that range. So I'm going to assign range.values to a 2D array. Okay, hopefully I got all my brackets and commas right there. Let's refresh this and try to run the new code. Awesome, so we highlighted C7 to D8, 
And then we took the old values, wrote them out to the console down here. And then we wrote the four new strings to that range. These are new values. So I just whipped through a couple core features and simple APIs, but you can imagine tons of different possibilities. You could have any logic you want here, looping, whatever. You can bring in data from the web. Um, we even have a libraries tab, so you can include your favorite NPM packages here. And of course, you can edit the HTML on the templates tab. There's lots of UI we could do here, but I'm just going to create an input control so the user can enter the color they want instead of hard coding it in the script. We'll just call this guy color. Okay, and now we just need to add a reference to that control in JavaScript. We can use jQuery here, if I remember my selectors. And I think it's the value function. As usual, IntelliSense is going to help us out with that. Oh, and before we try this, let's also add a nice image to the HTML. It's got to look professional, so I recommend something like this. Okay, now we're ready to refresh. Let's see if that color control shows up. Great, there's our input box. Let's enter another one of my favorite colors, maybe uh, pound decaf one. Okay, now let's run it to see our new color. And there's our beautiful pound decaf one hue. And we can't end the demo without a look at my beautiful animation coming from the web here. Most people actually don't know that NinjaCat is writing to his TypeScript hackathon. So if you're also interested in trying out ScriptLab, I highly recommend you check out the full list of samples we have. There's all kinds of great stuff here, working with tables and ranges and the worksheet, uh, even adding charts if you want. Just to give you a little taste, here's a great snippet that creates a bar chart from a bit of data. I'll make this a little smaller so we can see better, and then when I refresh the run page, that'll load the new snippet. This one has two functions. First is just to insert some simple data in a table, and then we can create a chart from it. Everything is controllable, the colors, the axes, whatever. The last thing I want to show you guys is the sharing feature for ScriptLab. Super handy. First, I'm just going to rename that old snippet so we can keep track of it better. And then I'm going to click share. I have a bunch of options, but for now I'm going to save it to a private gist. That just means I need to send people the link if I want them to find it. Just need to finish logging into GitHub here. Yes, always use two-factor auth. There's the gist URL. So now I can take that and send it to whoever I want, and they can use the snippet themselves. For the demo, I'm going to copy that and then try to load it into ScriptLab in Excel Online. In the browser, it's just like the desktop. Click the ScriptLab tab and then click the code button. Okay, now we're going to go to the import page and then paste in that URL. There's the URL. Then I can scroll to the bottom of the page and click import. Now that snippet's loaded, so we're going to go to the run pane. And there's our lovely snippet running in Excel Online. Let's put in a color and run it. There we go. There's a lot more stuff to show you, but that's it for this demo. Hope that blew your socks off. Please try it yourself and let us know what you think. We're open source on GitHub, so you can blog issues, share your snippets, even contribute code to the tool itself if you want. Have fun experimenting.